Thanks for joining us on the newsroom. I am Fulashade Ogunde. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, says it has arrested suspected drug dealer Okafor Umudili in connection to over 2.55 kilograms of cocaine recovered from a toilet at the Motila Mohammed International Airport in Lagos. In a statement on Sunday by NDLEA spokesman Femi Babalola, Okafo was arrested after arriving in the country from Brazil on November 13. Meanwhile, the chairman, executive, a chief executive of the NDLEA, Mohamed Bubamawa, has commended the officers and men involved in the operations across the commands for sustaining the heat on drug cartels in the country. At least 15,000 terrorists who surrendered to government forces have begun undergoing de-radicalization. This is according to reports provided by Joint Tax Force, JTF, during a media briefing. National Security Advisor Babagana Mongono revealed this, that the rehabilitation protest is necessary following endless mass surrender of terrorists and their sympathizers in the northeastern part of Nigeria. Mongono noted that a system had been established by the federal government to ensure full rehabilitation of surrendered terrorists back into the society. The Apex Igbo Sociocultural Organization, Ohaneze Indigo, on Sunday appealed to residents of the southeast to go about their normal businesses on Mondays, noting that the era of Monday sit at home was over. It also enjoined all the schools in the zone to commence their usual academic activities without any fear of molestation. In a statement by Ohaneze spokesman Alex Obonia, also appealed to transporters and traders that go to the southeast and especially foreigners from Cameroon to feel free to transact their businesses. Amid fears of a fourth wave in Iraq, the country has received 1.2 million doses of Pfizer-BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine through the COVAX sharing scheme. According to official figures, more than 2 million citizens have been infected with COVID-19 and 23,628 have died in Iraq since the outbreak of the pandemic. Meanwhile, despite an increase in the number of people getting jabbed, Iraq's government has been unable to overcome general skepticism about vaccines and measures aimed at preventing the spread of the virus. The federal government has revealed plans to increase funding for the basic education sector from 2% to 3% from its consolidated revenue fund. According to the Director of Basic Education, Federal Ministry of Education, Folake Olatunji David, the 1% increase will be invested in the senior secondary school education segment. He added that the federal government would support existing institutions while establishing new ones to accelerate production of trained manpower for the different sectors of the economy. At least five people have been killed and 40 injured after an SUV ploughed into a Christmas parade on Sunday in Wisconsin, United States. The vehicle was said to have broken through barricades about 4.40 p.m., roughly 40 minutes after the parade began. Witnesses reportedly estimated the car was travelling at around 40 miles per hour when it hit the crowd. The local police chief said a person of interest was in custody and the suspect vehicle had been recovered. Victor Simen fractured his cheekbone as Napoli lost their unbeaten start to the 2021-2022 Serie A season with a 3-2 loss away to Inter Milan on Sunday. Simen contested a header with Milan Tringa in the 51st minutes and ended up with a serious facial injury. According to the official Napoli website, tests carried out on Victor Simen at the end of the Inter-Napoli match revealed multiple displays fractures of the orbit and of the left cheekbone. And that's it from the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I'm Fola Shadi or Green Day. Bye for now.